Assalamu alaikum. I'm Munir Sheikh of Bayan Islamic Graduate School, and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Tezjan Inan Lar as part of the class of 2021. Tezjan recently earned a Master of Arts in Islamic Studies and Leadership, and that's really very apt because Tezjan's always been a leader. He's worked in a variety of organizations, and uh, he was always a thoughtful, insightful, and gracious contributor to the conversations in the classroom, which enriched the experience for everyone. Currently, he's working in an organization that focuses on developing IT and coding skills amongst uh, newer immigrants and disadvantaged individuals so that they can be fast-tracked and given an opportunity to join the workforce here in the United States. So it's really remarkable to see that Tezjan not only is interested in furthering his own professional life and career, but he's doing so in a way that it can uplift others at the same time. So we applaud him for that. He wrote a very interesting thesis applying design thinking principles that he learned from one of our professors, Dr. Uh, Professor Nadia Romani, uh, and uh, was able to apply that in developing a model for uh, critical conversations, not just interfaith dialogue, but conversations amongst Americans with very polarized perspectives on the issues of the day. We wish Tejan great uh, luck uh, in uh, advancing that project. Uh, he has a partner in the Virginia area and we're looking forward to seeing the results of that effort. And we know that Tejan's gonna continue to do great things going forward. Once again, congratulations. In 2001, I found myself in America, a boy who was born in Turkey in a, in a small village now in America for his dreams. And I, I finished my grad studies in engineering and I started working, life was good, but America was different. Um, I had friends, I had people that, I, that in my circle that I have conversations, I'm eating together, I'm having conversations, you know, talking. Things started changing for me as I get to know people from different backgrounds. Um, and as, as we started having conversations on issues, I, I, I realized at one point I need to grow myself. And even at, at one level, I didn't want to do engineering. And it was it was a kind of question that I had in, in my mind that how, how do I have my own sense of values as opposed to a feeling of deficiency? There's this moment um, that I had, there's a hunger and thirst uh, in me that I want to grow myself um, spiritually and also professionally on personal, um, personal level. At that time, I had a chance to hear um, Jihad Turk um, about his idea uh, of, of a grad school um, to help um, people in America who wants to grow professionally and so on. And, and that idea was, um, was um, an, an inviting message for me. I was looking for an opportunity in a search of what I need to do. And that was the moment um, that, that I believe uh, God uh, accepted my thoughts and prayers, I guess. In Bayan, um, it's, to me, it's a, it's a manifestation of, of the prophetic saying that seek knowledge from create to from, from crade to grave. So it was, it was a true manifestation. The classes uh, we were taking was not only fulfilling me spiritually, especially classes on, on Islam, Islamic studies, that I needed that knowledge um, deeply, especially uh, m my life journey in America that I started asking a lot of questions. But in addition to that, I was also in, in thirst and hunger about personal, professional development to, to really find my way out. And in that sense, um, Bayan is an invaluable place that offers 
two things at the same time. It's, it's having, it's like a bird uh, having it two wings so that you can fly. Um, so many classes I've, I've find myself that, that there's this change in the mindset that it's not about knowing, it's about learning. And, and this, is, this is a journey. And as I said, it's, it's, I, 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 I believe it's a manifestation of that prophetic saying exactly. No matter what age you are, no matter what background you, you, you are, that, that you can grow. And I remember in the civic engagement class with Professor Nadia and Bree, in the, in the first class, um, they, they told us that we're here to help you unlock your potential. That was an inspiring moment for me. I said, yes, I am in the right place. And as we uh, dig into the concepts and, 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 and ideas, and, 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 and I was so um, happy that I feel that I'm growing. I remember um, reading and learning about um, Jewish philosopher Maimonides, 12th century philosopher. And the way he describes hope was really amazing for me. He, he says, he defines hope as a belief in the plausibility of the possible as opposed to necessity of the probable. That, that was amazing. And still I carry that, um, that, that thinking uh, in my mind. The classes um, that I had that journey uh, and, and that relationship uh, what happens in time that the bayan becomes part of your life. You don't want to leave that aside. And I remember when I was a kid, um, in, 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 in my family um, uh, comes from uh, Bosnia. They are Bosnian immigrants to Turkey. So I was born in a uh, Bosnian village to a Bosnian family. And we had guests. We had family members uh, back, in, back in Bosnia, and they used to come and visit us in, every summer. And when they come, they bring gifts, and you know, most importantly, candies and chocolates and, and gums. Um, that's you know, uh, not available, uh, definitely in Turkey. Uh, I, I still remember those days. I used to save those chocolates and gums. It's, it's funny. Um, but the thing is that it's so valuable to you, um, it's so special to you, you don't want to consume right away. You wanted to keep. I remember I had, a gum, I had a gum, which in the shape of a cigarette, right, it has, it has a beautiful smell and texture. And I remember I saved that gum, a package of gum, for about a year. Um, time to time, I was going back in uh, my secret room. I didn't, I didn't want my brothers and um, you know family members see that, and you know, you know, taking a bite and smell. Oh, you know, that that was beautiful. So the relationship with the bayan is on a different level, but in the same way. You you continue, and with now with the online programming, it's it's so wonderful opportunity to be connected. Um, in, in both, both um, uh, I would say, hands and the legs on the ground. You grow yourself spiritually and also professionally. And now, um, in, my, in my professional work, I exactly do what I learned in, in the public leadership, civic engagement class around design thinking, including my, my thesis. And my work right now, I do that every day. And I see the benefit, and I and, and enjoy that moment with every inch of my body. That's that's a feeling uh, that you don't have words to describe. So I'm really thankful to first of all my wife, who was always supportive and patient with me. I'm thankful to President Juhat Turk for his leadership for his vision. I'm thankful my advisors, Dr. Munir, Dr. Um, Azgur Koja, um, they were so helpful on the way um, as I finished the program. And of course, my professors. I can't thank enough for all of them. 
and my friends, especially um, Adnan Slajic, Abdurrahim Azjan, and Kubulai. I want to thank them as well that they showed support all the way down. I want to say for um, anyone who had contributed for Bayan, Bayan's existence and continuation of, of the growing, may Allah bless you, may Allah reward you in this life and the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all.